And the glacier itself may have been there for two or three million years, but it's not exactly the case that the ice is really that old. I, I think there's a, a useful analogy to draw to a river. The water in the river probably fell as rain or maybe as snow that then melted and entered the river fairly recently, a few days ago, a few weeks ago, and it's just making its way to the sea. Some people are surprised to find out that glaciers are really essentially the same. The ice within the glacier is flowing downstream just like the water in a river. Because the glacier flows much more slowly than the river, the ice in a typical Alaskan glacier is going to be something on the order of a few thousand years old. It's taken that long, depending on the particular glacier, it varies, to fall as snow up on the mountain somewhere, get compressed and turned into glacier ice and to flow its way all the way down the glacier till it emerges somewhere near the terminus and melts and enters the river. And so the, the ice is not millions of years old. And the things that are contained within the ice, whether it's rocks or uh, if you find, you know, a ground up mountain goat or a bone, those things are, are not millions of years old.